God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, will humbly implore you for your servant James, whom you have called to journey to you. And since he hoped and believed in you, grant that he may be led to our true homeland, to delight in his everlasting joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Pueden sentarse, vamos a escuchar la primera lectora, después el Salmo, después el segundo lectora. Lectura del libro de Job En aquellos días Job tomó la palabra y dijo Ojalá que mis palabras se escribieran Ojalá que se grabaran en láminas de bronce con un punzón de hierro Se esculpieran en la roca para siempre Yo sé bien que mi defensor está vivo Y que al final se levantará a favor del humillado De nuevo me revestiré de mi piel y con mi carne veré a mi Dios. Yo mismo lo veré y no otro. Mis propios ojos lo contemplarán. Esta es la firme esperanza que tengo. Palabra de Dios. Lectura de la Carta del Apóstol San Pablo a los Romanos Hermanos y hermanas, ninguno de nosotros vive para sí mismo, ni muere para sí mismo. Si vivimos, para el Señor vivimos, y si morimos, para el Señor morimos. Por lo tanto, ya sea que estemos vivos o que hayamos muerto, somos del Señor, porque Cristo murió y resucitó para ser Señor de vivos y muertos. Todos vamos a, com a comparecer ante el tribunal de Dios, como dice la Escritura. Juro por mí mismo, dice el Señor, que todos doblarán la rodilla ante mí y todos reconocerán públicamente que, soy, que yo soy Dios. En resumen, cada uno de nosotros tendrá que dar cuenta de sí mismo a Dios. Palabra de Dios.
el Señor esté con ustedes. El lector del Santo Evangelio según San Juan. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Jesus, Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Palabra del Señor. Gloria a ti, Señor Jesús. Muy bien. Pueden sentarse. Bienvenidos a todos a esta Santa Misa para celebrar la vida de James y para rezar por él, por su alma y para todos nosotros aquí. Y um, condolences and prayers to everyone. Um, nosotros tenemos una fe muy grande. Y la fe de nosotros está en Jesús. Y Jesús dice en nuestro evangelio que es, acabamos de escuchar. Yo soy la, resurrec la resurrección, yo soy la vida. La mayoría de la gente piensa, creo, yo creo, ellos piensan que la resurrección solamente es una cosa que Jesús hizo. But just one thing, the resurrection, just something that Jesus came to do. Y celebramos esto en la Pascua, en Easter. Pero Jesús dice, no es solo un evento en mi vida, es mi vida. La resurrección es mi vida. Yo soy la resurrección. Y no solo quiero compartir con ustedes la dirección de, del camino de Dios. Jesús dice, yo soy el camino. Yo soy la resurrección, yo soy la vida, yo soy el camino. Y sin Jesús, salvación no es posible. Sin una vida adentro de Jesús. Porque Jesús es la resurrección. Hoy, este domingo, vamos a celebrar el baptismo de Jesús. Y recordemos que en nuestro baptismo... Entramos a Jesús, entramos a la resurrección, entramos a la vida, entramos el camino. Y muchas personas como Tomás en nuestro evangelio dicen, ¿qué? Dios, ¿qué, qué dirección? Qué de... Jesús dice, no, yo, yo soy la vida, yo soy la resurrección, yo soy el camino. Y James Sabía eso. James knew these things, and um, he had many conversions in his life. He, he wasn't always perfect, and you all know that very well, that none of us is perfect. We make mistakes. We have problems. We end up sometimes going down the wrong path whenever we end up going outside of Jesus. But the gracia, la gracia de Jesucristo, la misericordia de Jesucristo, siempre va, will always rescue us. The grace of Jesus, the mercies of Jesus, rescue us when we're open to them. And we celebrate that James was open to them. And um, I heard about how Uh, you know, he's been, he's spent s several years in, in prison, but it was there in prison that he grew in his relationship with our Lord in a very powerful way. And he realized, perhaps he realized in prison, that Jesus was all he needed. 
because suddenly in prison Jesus was all he had and everything else was sort of taken and then he had the opportunity to come to this really profound relationship with Jesus and he shared Jesus with so many people. James was telling me about uh, the people that were that wrote letters letting him to know just how his father, this man who we sell, whose life we commend to our Lord today, saved them. And how he brought them to Jesus. How he brought them to a closer relationship with the triune God uh, in the midst of their own problems in the, in the life. And... Um, por eso, tenemos cosas a celebrar. Porque celebramos que, celebramos esta amistad con James y con Jesús. We celebrate this friendship that was there, that is there, between Jesus and James, because James was open to it. And James repented, he, he had conversion, and he walked away from all of the sins, all of the mistakes, all of the failings that he had done in the world, and he realized, he realized that Jesus was his Savior. Jesus was his God and was his Redeemer and was going to, rid, was able, with only him could, only he could redeem all of the mistakes and failings and so forth that he had committed this life. And he, that friendship with Jesus grew and grew and grew. And siempre es buena idea pensar, what lesson can I learn from this person? And maybe that's the most important lesson we can learn from James in his life, is to have a deep deep friendship with Jesus Christ and to live in Jesus Christ, to share Jesus Christ, to share that relationship with Jesus Christ with everybody that we can, knowing that they might end up in heaven because we shared our, light, our friendship with Christ. I mean, it is quite, quite something when we pray God, when we are all faithful, and we all get to heaven one day after having lived a good life in Jesus and a good friend, that we will get there and we will realize how many people whose lives we touched, how many people end up up there because God used us in some fashion. Celebramos que la muerte para nosotros, católicos, solamente es un evento en la vida. No es el fin. La muerte es solamente un momento y la otra parte de la vida es eterna. La vida aquí es corta, ¿verdad? La vida aquí en el mundo no tenemos muchos años, no tenemos... Y cada momento es regalo del Señor. Every moment is a gift, but it's short. James was only 61 years old. But the second part of a human life is eternal and goes on forever. In Cristo, porque Cristo no tiene fin. Cristo es Dios. Dios es si eterna, eterna. And so James, his life did not end when he took his last breath a few days ago. His life changed. Y ahora... El tiene su reward, his prize. And that, we pray, is eternal life with Jesus. Having repented of his sins, having shown evidence and fruits of that repentance for years, having shared that relationship with Christ, we have good reason to know and to believe that the mercies of Jesus are all over this man. And so we celebrate his eternal life in Christ. And we thank God that his life is not over. His life simply changed. Now we continue to pray for his soul. He might be in purgatory. He might be in purgatory for a while. 
And so we pray for his soul um, with misa, con la misa, especialmente la misa de difunto, pero con muchas misas en nuestros rosarios, nuestras oraciones, rezamos por la alma y la eterna salvación de James. Y damos gracias por los maneras, the ways that he touched our own life. And we pray that we too will have a friendship with our Lord as strong and as deep and as contagious as the friendship that James has with him. In el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. We pray for James, who in baptism received the light of Christ. Scatter now, Lord, the darkness and lead him over the waters of death. Roguemos a Señor. Our brother James was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Roguemos al Señor. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom and whose their souls are in purgatory. Grant them everlasting hope and life with your Son. Roguemos al Señor. Many people die by violence, war, and famine every day. Show your mercy to those who suffer so unjustly these sins against your love. And, and gather them into the eternal kingdom of peace. Roguemos al Señor. The family and friends of James seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that sometimes come from grief. Roguemos al Señor. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for James. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Roguemos al Señor. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pueden sentarse durante la preparación de la
Ore, hermanos, para que este sacrificio mío y de ustedes se agrave a Dios Padre y todo por vos. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant James, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your Son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. El Señor esté con ustedes. Levantemos el corazón. Damos gracias al Señor nuestro Dios. En verdad es justo y necesario es nuestro deber y salvación. Darte gracias siempre y en todo lugar. Señor Padre Santo, Dios Torboroso y Pérez, Cristo nuestro Señor. In Él resplandece la esperanza de nuestra feliz resurrección, y así, aunque la certeza de morir nos intrincisice, nos consuela la promesa de la futura inmortalidad. Pues, para quienes creemos en ti, Padre, la vida no se acaba, se transforma, y desuelta nuestra morada terrena. El se nos prepara una mansión eterna en el cielo. Por eso, con los ángeles y los arcángeles, con los tronos y de dedicaciones, y con todos los poros celestiales, cantamos sin cesar el himno de tu gloria. Del mismo modo, acabada la cena, tomó el cáliz y dándote gracias de nuevo, lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, Tomen y beben todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de alianza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración.
bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant James, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Acuérdate también de nuestros hermanos que se tuvieron en la esperanza de la resurrección y de todos los que han muerto tu misericordia. Admítenos a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. Ten misericordia de todos nosotros y así con María la Virgen Madre de Dios, su esposo San José, los apóstoles y cuantos vivieron en tu amistad a través de los tiempos. Merezcamos por tu Jesucristo compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas. Oh Cristo con el Yael, a ti Dios Padre potente, humanidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria, por los siglos de los siglos. Señor Jesucristo, que dice tus apóstoles, la paz les dio mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concede la paz y la unidad. Tú que vives en reinas por los siglos de los siglos. La paz del Señor esté siempre con usted.
communion time. If you are a practicing Catholic in a state of grace, you are more than welcome to come forward for Holy Communion. Otherwise, you simply can stay in your seat.
al Señor por este sacramento que de la vida, te rogamos que nuestro hermano James, a quien hiciste partícipe de tu nueva alianza por el pecado de virtud de este sacramento, goce sin fin de la paz de Cristo, el que vive reina por los siglos de los siglos. Vamos a tener un momento de silencio. Dar gracias a Dios por la vida de James and the many ways that he touched our own lives. Let's take a moment just to silence bow our heads and thank God for James's life. Señor Jesucristo, que al descansar tres días en el sepulcro, santificaste la tumba de los que creen en ti, de tal forma que la sepultura no solo sirve para enterrar el cuerpo, sino también para secretar nuestra esperanza en la resurrección. Dígate bendecir el cuerpo de nuestro hermano James y que él puede descansar en paz. Vamos ahora a cumplir con el deber de darse todo el, el cuerpo de nuestro hermano. Fieles a la costumbre cristiana, lo haremos pidiendo con fe a Dios para que todos estamos vivos que admita su alma entre sus santos y, y que este cuerpo que hoy vamos a entregar lo resucite un día lleno de vida y de gloria. Que en el momento de lucio sea misericordioso para, con nuestro hermano, para que libre de la muerte, absuelto de sus culpas, reconciliado con el Padre, Llevado sobre los hombres del buen pastor y agregado al, sal, al sequito del Rey Eterno. Disfrute para siempre de la gloria eterna y de la compañía de los santos. We believe that James' life was a gift from God, so now we reverence his body with incense. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother James and assure and sort of hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon James in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful God, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now in peace, let us take our brother James to his place. Of